Hello and welcome to a very long overdue vloggy pod. Um, my name is Sherry and thank you for being here. It's been a long time. I think the last time I did a podcast I said I'll see you on Friday and that was about four months ago or maybe even more and I can remember trying to do a podcast probably way back in August or September and I had to close that door because you could hear lawnmowers and sounds of summer and things like that. And then somehow it ended up getting abandoned. I don't know what happened. So anyway, I'm, and thank you for your messages. Um, because I did actually put on Instagram, probably a couple of months ago now, vloggy pod going up and it never happened. We won't go into that why. But, and I got so many messages from people saying, um, I can't find it anywhere and then are you okay so i'm fine we've just been incredibly incredibly busy we've just sent out our two events we did two this year we did um christmas in foxglove wood which was a yarn only advent and then for the first time we did a mindfulness advent as well which may have had a little bit of yarn in there and um but it was more if you like vintage bits and pieces and you like journaling and things like that that was kind of what it was for and we sent we sent it over a hundred and they've all arrived safely which we're so pleased about and yeah we I'm really nervous actually because you're going to start opening them soon but we hope you love them because we did we did put a lot of work in to try and create something really um extra special because it's been a tough year and we've got a while yet haven't we before we get back to normal but anyway trying to be jolly so that it's that's just been it we've just been too busy and it actually takes me a while to get myself together when I'm going to do a podcast and think what I'm going to say and then edit it and put it up and it just never happened so and also thank you if you have been sending me messages because I've literally had my phone on a holder sort of at the end of my desk so that I could see a message pop up. But if I go on Instagram or anything like that, fatal. And I just didn't have time to do anything like that. But I would see a message come up, read it, sometimes call it out to Christopher. So I read, please know, I read every single letter, uh, message. But the problem is some come through on Instagram, some come through as emails. The best one is always on Etsy because it's much easier for me to track through and find a message on there. But if I didn't reply to you, thank you so much anyway for your lovely messages because they were lovely to get. So thank you. Um, so if you did order one of our events, yeah, we're very excited for you to begin opening it. And the first thing, and I barely, I mean, really, I'm doing this podcast to say hello because I barely had time to do anything. I, by the time I actually sat down, I would either fall asleep you know, dribbling and drawling, or try and read my book in bed and read the same page several times over. Um, I didn't get much done. And what I have got done, two things, got sent out as gifts. So anyway, for the first time yesterday in an absolute age, I had time to sit down. So I did an embroidery. This is, because I keep my embroidery in bags too. This is a lovely bag from Emma, gorgeous Emma, who is Eldenwood Crafts, who, you don't need me to show you this, but Eldenwood Crafts, and she makes lovely bags, and this one, this, this again, this is how long since I podcast, um, we created a yarn for um, a treasure chest who raise money for women who are being affected by or have had um, breast cancer. And we sold a yarn, a garden posy, and Emma did this bag and uh, money was donated from the bag and the yarn to Treasure Chest. And this was Emma's bag and I got one. I love her bags. Anyway, keeping a robin in a fox bag, interesting. Oh, and there's still bits on this. I'm sorry, I haven't even cut them out from when I was doing it last night. You can see all bits of thread on there. But anyway, I have been doing 
and not quite finished a little robin embroidery this is freddy i apologize for all the threads on there and everything because i've just grabbed hold of it this is freddy who um you will meet if you have the advent calendar now freddy is a it's very flustered little freddy and i just thought i haven't embroidered a robin for so long so he in fact, one of the books I'm reading, I'll show you in a minute, has got a little robin on. So, what, what I'm going to do, actually, because thank you so much if you are supporting us over on Patreon, and thank you for your patience. Um, we've got lots and lots over the next three or four weeks that we're putting on there. And this, actually, I thought yesterday, what I would do is stitch this from beginning to end, again, um, so that you can see how I do it if you're interested and we'll put a little um, PDF of the robin for you for the pattern but I love doing birds it's my favorite thing to embroider flowers second birds first and we've got a little robin in the garden but oh this is a long story we had about two years ago th two doves in the garden and then three the baby doves, when you see baby doves, they're the same size as the adult doves, but their arms, their wings are all over the place. When they come down to feed, they're all wings and feet. And we had three, and then they got a bit more, and then we ended up with about nine or ten, and then we had twelve. And it got to the stage in summer where we had nearly 40 white doves and pigeons mixed in with them. And it was just ridiculous. They would... You would, you would go out there and think they're not around, but there'd be one of them peering over the edge who would see you put a little bit of food down for um, the sparrows, because we had so many sparrows um, in our clematis, and the doves would just come from nowhere and hoover it up. And so, and it got, and they were so tame, they got so used to us that even Monty barking, coming off his feet and barking, they didn't take any notice, and Archie, doesn't bother about birds anyway he um a little wagtail that I feed literally walks under his feet so he's no use and it just got to the point that as soon as we went out there they would fly down thinking you were going to give them something so I had to stop feeding them which is really really horrible I really hated doing that because they still come up to the door and will sort of peck on the door because you know but I don't think that I think they have when I stopped feeding them which was back in late August they still would have had plenty of food so and they're still plump and fine but anyway huge digression but my robin um I still can't really feed properly because as soon as I put anything down I will still have them come along didn't need to know all of that but and it's been a, I don't like not feeding the birds it's horrible so I still put feeders out um, but robins are ground feeders, aren't they? Or you know, so cool. there you are, off on one. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing. That's what I did yesterday, and I'm going to do some more of those because um, I do love bird embroideries. That's not finished. I've got to do some more layers on them yet. And the only other thing I've been doing. So back in um, summer, I said in the one of my vlogs that came after the podcast. I'm going to do two rows a day of my granny stripe blanket and if I do that well I didn't that didn't happen at all but I have recently put a few more lines it rows in and um, I've been using the wrong size crochet hook so I'm all, it's all caught up so bear with me I think I was using 3.5 or 3 I can't remember what I started using and I noticed that it felt like it was getting bigger. And I was using the wrong size hook. Anyway, look, it's only that big anyway. But I have done, there you are, that's what I've done since there. I mean, it's not very impressive, but I really like the colors on this now. And I couldn't work on this in summer because I would get too hot. Oh, well, I remember somebody sent me a message to say 
um, to look up more in my podcast. I can't remember your name and I can't, I can't find your message. It came through and I, I just can't find you. But you said to me, don't keep looking down, keep looking up. I am trying, but I am actually really shy. And if you, if you, every now and then it hits me that I'm actually talking to potentially quite a few people. And so I'm sorry if I keep looking down. Um, anyway, so in summer, I couldn't work on this anyway because I get so hot all the time. Um, but now it's perfect. So I'm going to work on that and I am going to do a couple of rows a day. So anyway, that's it. That's all I've got to show you because I haven't, uh, it's not very impressive. I haven't been able to do anything. Dribbling and drooling when I said that earlier. I don't mean dribbling and drooling, you know, but you know when you fall asleep and you sort of wake up with a start. Oh, Sherry. Okay. Oh, and last thing I wanted to say was what I'm reading. So I'm reading Single Thread by Tracy Chevalier, which I've only got that far. But really enjoying that. Um, this is a book that I think I was going to read along with Nikki, Nikki at the Cottage. I think I was going to read this with you, Nikki. And you, um, she reads books so quickly, but that was a long, long, long time ago. Oh, this is one to show you. And I'm still reading my little nature book. Oh, I found, what does this quote say? I think it says summer afternoon. It's a quote by Henry James and it says summer afternoon, the two best words in the English language. That's my, that's my bookmark. Anyway, uh, that's another little robin. I've shown you this before, but that's another little robin that I did. Um, that I made into a book cover. Obviously, you can see that. And I was going to show you how to do that. I would try and do that, actually. Put it on as part of a vloggy pod or something, if you're interested. Because they're really nice um, Christmas gifts, actually, if you give a book, to give a book cover. And the other thing is, Cherie, um, Ollie and Bella epic late response to you but and I've left my other ones here but we were talking about Kate Moss and our labyrinth etc and I've got sepulchre this is my favorite one and they are there are three labyrinth um sepulchre and what's the other one can't remember this do you remember books you read I there are certain books that I've read, and To Kill a Mockingbird is one of them, where um, I know I can remember all of it really clearly. But some books I read, and maybe two or three years later, I'm thinking, oh, I think I've read that. Is it an age thing? I don't know. And somebody used to, or does, keeps a book with the parts of a book that she's read characters in the book maybe and things like that that's such a good idea I'm going to do that because I this is brilliant and there's bits of this that I remember the beginning really really clearly and I remember being captivated by it I don't know what happens in it I don't remember so I'm reading that again after I've read this um, I've got a whole host of books I've got masses of books on my Christmas list and as I've said to my husband you can buy me 20 books I don't mind I'm very happy with that so Just wanted to finish by showing you some because we haven't been able to do um, shop updates really because um, we haven't had time. I wanted to just show you what's gone on to the shop this week. Also, the um, bases are different, which I wanted to talk to you about. So this is our sturdy sock. Um, which is 400 meters per 100 grams. And that's a sturdy sock. It's 75 um, superwash merino, 25% nylon, as are these. But it's a different, it's, it's, it's a different yarn. It is um, not quite as soft as this one, but it is sturdy. It's great for socks. And some of our colorways, um, do you truly believe? I couldn't remember what that one was called and I can't read it. Um, this is do you truly believe I don't even know if this is in the shop anymore actually but this is on and you can see the difference with how the skeins look as well so if you've ordered 
some of our yarns that were in the shop a couple of weeks ago and then you've ordered some this week and you think they look different. They are different. They're both, as advertised, um, either on our titanium or platinum base, which is two ply or four ply. And I just didn't want you to be confused. They're still exactly the same, 75, 25. So this one, sorry, let me start with this one. This is Freddie the Robin, Robin. And this is obviously inspired by the little Robin that we have in our garden and Freddie, who you will meet in Foxglove Wood. Actually, I, and this is available on the two bases, I actually will um, put last year's story that went in the advent, which was the people that lived in the cottage. I'll put that story on my blog, actually, if you're interested in reading last year's, because, it, because um, what's coming up will make more sense to you. What's coming up in colourways will make more sense to you. And this one is Winter Comes to Foxglove, which is... Um, well, self-explanatory. It's, it's frosts and frozen waters and snow and little bits of green, the grass coming through. So that's Winter Comes to Foxglove. And the last one is, is it Christmas yet? And that is little Florence asking Beth, is it Christmas yet? You know when children say that, I think that's so lovely. Because they don't really have a concept of time passing do they properly so is it christmas yet and that little cottage on the, uh, on there is um what christopher painted for last year's advent and i'm going to try and do an embroidery of that actually this week because of course there are 80 hours in a day we've got our christmas tree today and we're going to try and put the christmas tree up later and i want to make a pie and do this video and start with embroidery. So of course there's 80 hours in a day. Also I didn't talk about this, this is another one of Christopher's little um, pieces of artwork that he does. We try and do uh, different bits of art for the labels to make it extra special. Oh, and this bag. So and thank you for your patience if you've been waiting for these bags. They're all completely made for you now. This one was Sunday Best. I don't know if you can see, it's a needle cord and um, that's your lining. Oh, and it's lovely and it was very popular and I've had lots of people asking if we're going to be doing more. Once all of the ones that have made and all the pre-order yarn has gone this week, I will try and make some more of those. But we've also got another bag going into the shop. And also, if you... Um, I know lots of people have asked about the calendars. The calendars went literally last March, we put them up for sale, but we are going to be putting some little Christmas boxes up. Um, probably this Friday in the shop, which is going to be a sock set and a little bag and a progress keeper and the option to add on a notebook and things like that. Oh. So anyway, it's nice to talk to you again and I'd love to hear what you're up to in the comments and thank you for watching. There's a little vlog afterwards and there isn't a quiz because I just haven't had time to put one together. I will do one and what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, I'm doing Vlogmas. That was the other thing. I'm going to do Vlogmas, so I'm looking forward to doing that. So, thank you. And one more thing, I did mention Patreon earlier and I just want to say Thank you so much for your patience over there and that I haven't been able to get back to you as much on there either because, because we've just been so busy. But there's lots coming up. We've got some Christmas quiz, lovely big Christmas quiz, which will be fun, and some cooking and some of the embroidery that I mentioned earlier and some extended vlogs and things like that. But thank you so much, so, so much for your support um, because it means everything to us. So thank you. And yeah. Enjoy the vlog, it's only a little one, but anyway, enjoy it. Thank you. And one more, one more thing. It's Christmas, I started putting up Christmas decorations and candles and things like that. And um, that candle over there, oh, it smells amazing. 
it's, they're St. Evil candles, St. Evil candles. There were four, but that's what a nerd I am. I've wrapped it up again in the, in the packaging. And the, this one is orange and cinnamon. I think it is. Oh, it smells amazing. We, I actually get this from a little shop that we have in Exeter called, in St. Leonard's called Maker Maker. A really lovely little independent store who sell these, but um, if not, you can get them uh, direct from, I just thought I'd tell you, because they smell, you can't smell the kitchen, smells incredible. And another little candle um, that we've got recently is the um, Little Grey Candle Company on, oh, I know something else I was going to say, on Etsy. Um, we have bought quite a few of her soy tea lights, um, secret squirrel, but she's really lovely. And the other thing I was going to say is I need to catch up on a podcast. I haven't seen anybody's podcast. Um, vlogs or anything and so I've just started catching up with Amy Taylor S Studio going back to the beginning of November and then um, I've got to catch up with my friend Jules oh I've got two amazing advent calendars one from Jules so sweet violet which I can't wait to open because we did a little swap and my advent from Nikki Franklin arrived the other day literally squeals of joy. I know last year I talked about her advent and so yeah I've got completely lost my what was saying. Oh so I've got things to catch up on and Cherie, Ollie and Bella and I don't know what Gaynor's up to. I need to see what she's up to. I haven't I just literally haven't had time to to watch anything but um a new one that has just started is Suzanne. Suzanne I think it's the Kitchen Knitter, I will put a link underneath, but that's a brand new podcast, so, and she's lovely, Suzanne, so, I think that's it, I think that's it, there will be more things, but I won't do a one more, one more, one more thing, but anyway, thank you. So this is little Robin over there. This is where I want to have an allotment. I've got my name down. I'd love one of these. 
myself a little shed. You know, it's not much, but I'd love it. Oh, listen to the birds. It's quite big, there's quite a few here actually. A flask of tea. I've got myself a little stove. Look, that's all dug over ready. Yeah, quite hard to come by one though, apparently. See, that's a nice shed. What shed envy? My friend Nikki. I've got the most amazing shed. Literally told her I could move in. Thank you.